and hi guys so i haven't been in this week sorry i haven't posted any videos but i have been in class the last like seven or eight days training for a new um online at home job so you have to go through class and learn how to do the job and so this week will be my first week live at the job i have to work four hours a day monday through thursday um to learn how to properly do everything um then after that i'll go to 40 hours a week but anyway so i'm changing my schedule again i'll still be uploading still be making content i just have to change things around and i don't know if you can hear until or not i got like a sinus infection i'm all stuffy and stopped up just been really stressed here lately but anyway i also um wanted to touch base about my weight loss um as some of you know that follow me and watch me regularly i um went back and got the saxenda and then he gave me Fenderman, but um he gave me the victosa and so i had the allergic reaction to the victosa so i hadn't even started the saxenda because i had to let all that get out of my body out of my tissues because your tissues absorb medication and store it for x amount of days so we i had to let all the victosa get out before i started back on the saxenda anyway so on the fenderman i'm not real big on taking that i really just you know how I take it is we break the pills in half and I take a half a pill every two days because if not I'll get bad constipated and I won't sleep and I already have insomnia really bad so I don't need any help with not sleeping so anyway I um, went back to my diet that I do when I'm um, when, when I was training for swim team um, so, because I'm trying to get that weight back off. And if I get the weight back off, get my schedule, work schedule together, I am going to retry for swim team again. Um, my max weight was, I used to weigh like 358 pounds. And then I lost down to like 269. Then I had the car wreck April of last year. And then I'm on a whole bunch of steroids, which that's what made me gain my weight back. So, then I went back up to 318. So, on... August the 8th, when I went to the doctor, I was 318.7. So when I weighed on September the 8th, I was um, 306.6. So I'm proud of that weight loss. Um, if I was on the sack sender, I probably would have lost three times that amount of weight. Um, the Victosa did contribute to that weight loss. Uh, like I said, the Fenderman pills I've barely been taking. Out of 30 pills, I probably still have like probably 20 something of them because like I said, they're broken half and only take a half every like two, three days. So I don't, because they curve my appetite so much, I literally don't have to take them but like two days out of the week, a half a pill. Like one pill will, will work for me the whole week. Like I can take half one day and then two three days later take the other half so i don't have to take those all the time so um yeah and then i've been working out i've been eating right um i eat like three cups of salad at lunchtime with um like bell pepper tomatoes um i either eat um raspberry ranch italian or strawberry dressing or you know most of the time i make my own dressing so it's more organic um I try not to buy, I try to do um, non-GMO stuff. I, I don't eat corn, and everybody knows I love like corn on the cob, especially field corn, because here in Mississippi, you know, everybody just had like field corn and everything and putting it up. But I try to avoid that. I try to avoid starches. I don't eat potatoes, um, well, white potatoes. I eat sweet potatoes, but I don't eat the white potatoes. I don't eat, um, <coughs> white onion during that time I don't eat certain beans during that time it's just certain things that I don't eat to avoid high carbs and starches um, it's I eat a lot of zero calorie foods um, I don't eat sweet fruit because that contributes to your weight gain and all this is from a doctor and, or either I learned it in, ca in in class coaching. This not this is not made up. It's either from a licensed physician, physician, or either I learned it during class. 
So I don't eat the only list of vet fruits that I can have are grapefruit, any kind of citrus fruit like oranges. I normally stick to oranges. I can have apples, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And I don't like raspberries, so I don't eat those, but I eat the rest of them. And plums. Those are the only fruits that I eat. My main the main thing I eat is cucumbers, tomatoes, pretty much well any kind of lettuce, a bell pepper, purple onion. Remember I'm not doing white onion. And let's see what else. For my meat, I eat pretty much well any kind of meat. Um, but I watch how much I eat like um, I do eat, try to eat six ounces, six to eight ounces of protein per meal. Um, when I get chicken, I don't go to big brand chicken places and buy chicken. I try to get local um, mom and pop markets that have chicken that are um, less genetically modified. Like they have been pumped full of steroids. They're like locally raised chickens. So they may not be 100% organic, but it's better than going to like Walmart and all those kind of places where they've been jacked up off stuff so it and because a, a real chicken leg is actually like this big it's like the real chicken leg it's not like the chicken leg that's big as a turkey leg like this big they're the real chicken leg so i have chicken uh mostly breast i have um turkey ground turkey i use it in place of hamburger meat i do eat my steak and again, I go to a mom and pop store where they order somewhere locally. Because I'm going to tell you, see, mom and pop stores, they can't afford to buy all that genetically um, engineered stuff because they have to try to sell it. And, you know, they just can't afford it. So I go to a little small hometown mom and pop store to get my meat since we don't have an organic market in my area. So, um, and then some of the people around here, they they raise and slaughter their own meat. I know that sounds bad, but they do and then they sell the meat. And we also get meat like that, which that is grass fed meat. So um, I've been eating pork chops because my husband knows a man that processes his own meat. So he raises his own animals, free range hogs that are out there walking around eating grass and whatever and not just eating like corn, which is a GMO. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. They're eating, you know, natural stuff, which they do feed them, but you know, it's they not pumping them full of drugs or whatever. So anyway, so um, that's the kind of stuff I've been eating. Um, I eat fish. Most of the fish I eat, I catch myself. You better know. You better ask somebody. I eat a lot of deer with or venison. You can call it. My husband hunts. Um, so I eat like deer stew, deer ground beef, deer sausages, deer steak. That's that is my main protein, so it's grass fed, and and I do eat plenty of it. Um, I have started um, doing some replacement meals with ve vegetarian food that, and that's really to cut on my calories. Like I have miso soup for lunch some days with a salad. I do like that the tofu soup. It's pretty good. Um, so that's what I've been eating, and I um I drink my water. I do not drink a gallon of water a day. That's not not even realistic, and not even the best thing for you, according to new studies that I seen on the Today Show. But I have the I don't have it with me like one of those silver cups to stay insulated. It holds ice all day, and I just drink as I'm thirsty. Like if I'm thirsty, I drink. But I do do water. I don't do soda. I do um drink pack mixes and all this those were recommended by my by my doctor he told me i could use crystal light great value are the two he recommended um so that's pretty much what, what i drink but i do not drink one uh, every time i drink something i only drink those with meals so i drink one with breakfast one with lunch and one with dinner or sometimes i just drink one with lunch and one with dinner or sometimes i just have one with however but if i'm thirsty and i'm tired of water i will add it but i try not to um anyway moving along what else have i been doing oh my workouts um be sure you follow me on instagram my instagram is all things nail also um that's where you can see the actual food that i make because i post there 
more than any other thing. The second thing that I post to is Snapchat, which is all things nail also. But I mainly am only on YouTube and Instagram because it I have so much going on with editing videos, trying to work and get me a new career and reestablish myself and everything since I I lost my other job after the wreck. It's just been a lot of work. But that's where you can find me at. And let me see what else. There was something else I wanted to tell y'all. Um, some other thing. It's about weight loss. Oh, and I was in the weight loss clinic. I seen this thing for this new weight loss drug called Contrave, I think it is. I want anybody to comment below if they've taken it or if they've tried it. Um, I've never taken it, but you know, I'll experiment for y'all. Um, y'all already know my favorite is going, going to be just the, the sack sender because I went from, I just lost so much work on it. And then I'll, um, also tell y'all in my next video with who I used to work out with because it's kind of like a whole nother subject. But anyway, I'm on the way now to get some stuff. I've got to upload videos and show y'all the wigs that I've made and some other stuff. This, those are requested videos that my people here, my clients have requested is for me to do a wig video because they love the wigs that I make them. And I don't mind showing them how to make them. So I want to do a video of just to show them how to do it. They requested it. I got to get to that. I made one and I didn't like it so I didn't upload it because it just wasn't it wasn't I didn't have the camera like close enough to it to really tell what I was doing and then I be watching TV like I have on <laughs> love and hip hop and all that kind of stuff and then I just be like you know stitching and forget I'm recording so I have to do one while I need to do one while I'm really paying attention to what I'm doing so it'll be a better quality video but anyway again I just wanted to touch base with y'all let y'all know where I've been and what's going on and everything. And I will um, get, I got a whole list of videos that have to go up. Um, like I said, now that I'm working these shifts, I'm going to try to get them up today or tomorrow. We got, with this Hurricane Irma stuff rolling in, I'll probably um, get them uploaded <coughs> tonight. Excuse me between today and tomorrow because if it's storming um our power goes out here if the sun is shining so being that i stay in the country in the woods and there's so many trees if, if it does get windy here we lose power i got like battery packs and that's something else people have been calling me about i need to upload a video on and i'll try to do that today also while i'm out so anyway i'm just gonna upload this video to y'all I hope y'all have a great day. I hope I'm glad all of my friends and everybody, you know, in Florida is okay. I'm glad it wasn't as bad. Well, guys, hello, Irma. Here she comes. This is what's left of Irma. She's rolling on up in here. I'm editing too. I'm at my favorite place, which is the Sunny Beauty Supply. I need to return some wig caps that I bought <coughs> that I don't like. When I upload my um, wig videos, you'll see and me exchange like those. It. And then I'll check my emails, and I have some coupons for Joann's that go out today. So I'm going to go in Joann's and see what they have. And I want to keep my budget at around about $50 because things are tight. But that also depends on, I can't remember if they let you double, double coupon in there or not. Like I got one for 40% off one regular store item then i got one for 30 percent off your entire item and then i got one for five dollars off your your um so we're gonna see so let's go in the store i got a request for a simple not too big wig she told me the name and the color and i have the money for the hair we're gonna get that. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, this is it right here.
Thank you.